What's happening guys? Dan here, DD Speed Shop, wearing my Mr. Heavy Chevy Lucky shirt. Anyways, we're working on the 56 Chevy wagon, big block, tunnel ram, all those good things. We're doing something super exciting today. Heaters. Well, a bit of a fan. So, <clears throat> this unit, when I got it, uh, if you have to be new here, it was a parts car. Which means all the interior and all that stuff was kind of ripped out of it, missing all the door handles, the steering column, the switches, the the radio, the glove box door, <coughs> like just everything had been pillaged away. There was no speaker, there was no nothing. Uh, a lot of the stuff, I've had a bunch of tri fives, so I had a bunch. I got another glove box door. Uh, I put in the heater controls, the ignition switch, headlight switch, put a column in it. Like none of that was there. So unfortunately, they took all the uh, HVAC stuff. The only thing it has is the vent that goes to the window. Which, uh, if this battery's not dead, I can show you. Oh, yeah, right on. So that piece right there is all there is. Now, this piece here, there's an inlet right there. My fingers go through, and that's what air goes in to burst it around. So, on this side is where you should have had your heater kind of box with the fan, and then uh, would be the, uh, what's it called there? Heater core. All that would all be there. Well... No, that's there. No, the piping is there. I don't have any of it. And by the time you track it all down and stuff, it's probably all used. I mean, a heater core to find now. I put one in Danny's car. It was like 150 bucks because you can't just buy them. You can't off like eBay or something. It took forever. So there's all these situations. Now, a lot of you guys are like, well, just omit that. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. Two reasons. One, we have to have them here to defrost the window. You have to have air blowing on the window for our inspections. Lame, I know. For two... I mean, I know the motor's a little ridiculous on this thing. It is a wagon. There's no reason we can't drive this thing, uh, I'm not going to say year-round, but uh, on some cool fall nights and, and bring it out early in the year and, and actually enjoy the car a little bit, which a little bit of heat would be nice. So what we're working with, this is budget-oriented. Murr had this, so I got it. It was a freebie. This is like an all-in-one fan heater core uh, kind of jobby. It's designed to be an add-on to like a suburban or I mean, an old van or something like that i mean i don't know this thing is clearly clearly old the problem with this though is it's not going to suck in fresh air so uh, it's like going to be on recirculate which isn't the best for whatever but i put it down there and i leave it uh where my finger is that's where the hole for the fan motor would have been it'll have some fresh air coming in there i think i'll leave that open for like a fresh air duct it'll be right by it it'll be as good as it's going to be so the way this works, the fan kicks on, it sucks air in through here, pushes it through heater cores on either side, and it comes out the side. So I have it just to our jumper pack. Stupid one hand. Probably do it before. There we go. Pretty simple. Now what this is going to do is just divert air either side. So what I'm going to do, we're going to put it in the car just like this. This so the firewall will be this side. Two lines coming out for uh, for the heater cores, and they must be bridged somehow. <clears throat> I'm going to block one side off, so this one side will be up against here, so it'll be useless pointing it out. Whoops. This side here, if I can balance it now, I'm going to build a little plate for it. And what I had kicking around, I had these. I'm going to saw all these in half. I picked up some, this is like uh, for a sump pump hose, it was like eight bucks and uh, it fits in just perfectly. So essentially I'm gonna make a plate. I'm gonna put it on both sides. This side will have two holes in it, a couple of those. So then all the airflow will be diverted out through those two hoses. I'll build another plate on the bottom of the uh, defrost. Two lengths of hose, some hose clamps, and it's golden. So the total investment here was I had these fittings lying around. I think this is pool stuff. I don't know what, but that was We'll call it free, but they're probably a dollar each, and I can I use two of them. Heater motor, free from her. He probably got it from a garage sale, let's be honest, so five bucks. And uh, $8 worth of uh, heater or <laughs> heater hose. So we're going to be in this thing for next to nothing. We'll have an afternoon with the work, and we should be able to get it going. This also actually came with its own switch, and the wiring harness had uh, power to it. I do have to build a couple of standoffs for it, and we'll be able to bolt this thing together. All right, so we're back on the uh, super clean workbench. 
As you'll notice, there's a couple of standoffs I put on this fine machine because the motor sticks at the back and we have to have it standing off the firewall, so I need to make a couple of mounts. Luckily I had this uh, eighth wall 2x2 two two, uh, square, which is overkill, and we'll do something along the lines of like that. It'll have some mounting holes. Now for the astute viewer, this is actually 2x2 two two cut into two to make my brackets work with the piper they gave you. What is it? Whatever, whatever that saying is. But uh, here's the other side. We've got our top little plate. So we'll put that on there. That. That. Those will go right there. So I'll weld that to that. That to that. Flip it. And then I have uh, the old backing plate. More of the same on the other side. We'll weld these on that a ways. Paint the whole thing black. And it'll look uh, horrible. But it'll be under the car. Under the dash anyway. So no one will ever see it. Now I'll just go ahead and ugly weld these together. These are a little on the galvanized side, so we'll try not to breathe. So this fancy pants robot we just built is, uh, it's rough. I'm gonna hit it around the grinder, uh, just get the, the rough edges, and I'm gonna fog the whole thing black and let it dry out in the sun. So we got our two little nipples or whatever. We gotta make another one of these that'll fit the car. And we got the backing plate. Nothing is solid well, there's gonna be leaks all over it. I'm not super concerned about it. But, that's the trick, check this out. Got a little paper towel, it sucks in there. Oops. That's good. And then over here. Wow. So that'll be enough to clear the windshield. Keep us a little warm in those uh, cool October nights. Actually, it's Canada. Cool July evenings. So I'm going to fog this black and I'll get a little pattern uh, figured out for inside the car. We'll build it on the bench. I've jumped ahead. You guys ready for this? So, we've got our magic little box there. It's pretty simple. Nice have a jumper wire on it. we got our two uh, wires or hoses going up to a little plate I made. Now, I mean, really, even though it stands off, it's fine. There's lots of room around your feet and stuff like that. There's no issues. It's real good. I can even see through there. Look at that. It looks fine. Um, I did put a couple of, like I said, just... Holes top and bottom mounted in. It's got one self tapper. It was just holding it in place. I'll pull that out. Um, so we got to put in this little switch, which will give it kind of, you know, endless amounts of power, I guess, from off to on at some point. And I don't have the ho heater hoses run, but I did drill the holes. So, so this is the this is the power cable we're going to be using to it. But so right now. When key on, it'll just be full blast because there's no resistance through that switch. There you go. Pull a little bit of air up in there. Life's good. And I mean, realistically, if you ever want, I mean, this is a little, a little hokey, but you just kind of pop that off, and it'll blow uh, anywhere you want. Pretty simple. It does blow through the back just a little bit, but I think once the heater hose is on, that'll kind of help it up. Um, we can wrap it in some foam tape and all those sort of things, but uh, I've been struggling. It's hot, and uh, I'm gonna take a little break. 
I mean, all I gotta do is wire this thing, put a switch in. So I'll let the camera charge a little bit, cool off, and then we'll finish this up, clean up in here, and yeah. I don't know. It's definitely a little a little hacky. I wore the appropriate shirt for the day, but uh, like I said, this is this is pretty cheap. Now they do sell these units at Princess Auto for us, I guess Harbor Freight from the States, and they come on sale for like 100 bucks or 125 bucks, which is still in my mind a lot cheaper than trying to get a factory system. If you don't have anything, you're kind of hooped right so like i said this one has a box that goes there into the fan heater core in the box app in there now it would be nice as, i mean i don't have any of the cables or nothing i have the two switches but the flapper door this one would have had floor and defrost uh we're gonna have floor and defrost just a manual operation so the cable yeah all right i'll see you guys in a little bit well i just got back painting tires because the switch on the heater didn't work and I bought some polish because it was on sale. And then I put a little bit of polish on the satellite. And, uh, oh, it looks like I'm polishing the satellite in the next video. It's this one little section. You know what it does? Wow, that's hot. Does you see this kind of ugliness on the side? It takes that all away. Oh, that's coming up. Idiot. It's supposed to be 30 degrees tomorrow. Anyways, so, back in the garage where it's not any cooler. So this thing here was the switch and it didn't have, even though it has a click, it didn't have an off setting. So it would just spin slow up to fast. And I don't know if it's broken or what. And I'm assuming it's old. So I went and bought a new universal switch, which is, uh, I think it was like $11. We're still not blowing the budget too much. And it's got high, medium, and low. Then it's got this little resistor on the back. Just that simple. And of course it's all fused. So I'm going to clean up in here a little bit. I'll drill a hole, put it in there. I guess we'll bring it back one more time just to show you the fan blowing nicely. I don't know. And there we go. Have you guys ever seen a switch do that before? Or is this... Where did I put it? I'm already throwing it out. A switch that doesn't have off when it's a variable or whatever. I've never seen that before. But... Uh, I'm young and handsome, so maybe you old guys would know. Well, look at this added frickin' bonus. It friggin' lights up! Come on! I wish it said cool instead of heat, but uh, I'm thinking just put in a, a cooling device for as cheap as this one went in. So the wire's still kind of hanging there. I'll deal with that, but it doesn't look that uh, unsightly as far as I'm concerned. Oh, and when I said you old guys, I meant distinguished gentlemen, right? We just so we're all good. I appreciate you watching the ads. No hard feelings. <clears throat> so now this is just for show. Like a kid can play with. And we got this. Oh, oh. Ah. So that's where I leave it. I'm hot. I'm tired. This thing is pretty classy. If you want to just direct it right at you. Look at that. Look at that option. It's like a little, little vacuum hose. Problem solved. What do you like when something kind of works out? It doesn't look nearly as obtrusive. Once you put a glove box door in there and I put a radio block off plate, I'll be all set. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, which I'm polishing the Dodge. What an idiot I am, but uh, eh, it'll look nice all green. See you later.